in the name of almighty allah the most gracious the most merciful as muhammad peace be upon him narrated if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge almighty allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise hello everyone this is a dr tarim sud thank you very much for watching my videos and your exceptional support to make this channel a grand success we are a partner a family please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far we as a team can work together to convert a challenges into opportunities and opportunity into success stories these success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large thank you very much for your precious time today i'm going to discuss my lecture number 2 oil and gas production process facilities and process management systems okay before my lecture i used to read a quranic verse qala rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wahlal uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli allahumma rabbi zidni ilma o my lord open my chest and is my task for me and loose a knot from my tongue that they may understand my saying allahumma rabbi zidni ilma o allah advance me in my knowledge and a true understanding thank you very much for your precious time on my next slide i'm going to give a dedication to the people who supported me and then i will run a complete today my lecture plan and will give you a key takeaway points for today lecture thank you very much for your precious time okay My lecture is dedicated to faculty members and student departments of chemical and environment engineering at GCT and NFCIT Multan in particularly led professor Dr Said Ahmed rest in peace and professor Dr of Zalak former vice chancellor and pioneer of NFCIT Multan Pakistan former VC at NND UIT Karachi and professor Dr Tahir Imran Qureshi master of organ chemistry Number three, faculty member and student departments of petroleum chemical engineering, Texas A&M, College Station, and Qatar campus. Faculty members and student department of chemical engineering, gas processing center, and industrial engineering at Qatar University. Management and operation and maintenance staff members of Parker Fertilizers and OGDC Pakistan, in particular Qadarpur gas processing field, Aghot Ki Sind Pakistan. last but not least i'm very much indebted and pay my deep gratitude to senior executive management and operation and maintenance staff members at qatar petroleum from 1997 to 2020 with great privilege and honor i have completed 24 years of my glorious career at different levels and positions at qatar petroleum thank you very much for everyone for your unprecedented support and believe on me is my future plan to deliver a uh, more than 300 lectures on oil and gas productions today we are going to discuss introductions facilities and processes reservoir and wellhead upstream facilities midstream facilities refining facilities petrochemicals utility systems conventional and unconventional resource environment effects what is the ultimate goal shaping the clean and sustainable global energy delivery and probably we will deliver to more than 300 lecture next couple of years okay this is very important slide it demonstrate my personal contributions for a 24 years with qatar petroleum remember all my career i moved against the wind and everything i took as a challenge and i never accept the defeat okay by using artificial intelligence of following in house systems developed and implemented successful without any external internal vendor support led to save million dollar a cure for qatar petroleum first i have developed uh, and published operation excellence 20 initiatives framework and tours number 2 developed and implemented flaring surveillance model to monitor and measure a flaring incident in a real time operation whereas it captures each molecule of hydrocarbon released from the plant due to any reason number 3 developed and implemented a gas lift management system to overcome gas lift injection deficiency and added 8 to 10000 barrel oil every day number 4 gas lift injection and gas balance dashboard developed Number fifth, developed and implemented a chemical surveillance model to monitor and measure required chemical 
At each injection point, Dad read Cohesion Inhibitor optimized and saved more than 30% capital consumptions. Number six, actionable department voice production dashboard. Number seven, actionable OMD dashboard linked with CU dashboard. Number eight, develop and implement a power water injection management system in real time operations. Number nine, develop and customize CPM control performance monitor to optimize and enhance equipment performance in order to achieve zero trip incidents. Number ten, develop and implement real time engineering workstation to optimize equipment performance and to address all types of operation bottlenecks and process control issues. Number 11, develop and implement a real time equipment performance monitoring systems. Number 12, a long list of e reporting systems to save a man hour whereas time is money. Number 13, a long list of well tested models for crude and recovery performance enhancement. Please send me email if you have any question or query about these systems. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, today I'm going to discuss oil and gas production facilities and process management system lecture number two. Okay, from my last slide, I will give a key takeaway points from my lecture number two facilities and process management system. Okay, first I will discuss here the exploration and production system, upstream facilities, midstream facilities, number four refining and petrochemicals. Okay, exploration first. What is basically exploration? It includes prospecting, seismic and drilling activities that take place before the developing of a field is finally decided. So it constituted with three segments, seismic, drilling and well completion. Then next is the surface features, subsurface features, reservoir management, hydrocarbon deposits, passive seismic, reflective, magnetic and then cost analysis. Okay. In the past, a surface features such as atoll ships or gas pork bags provided initial clues to the location of the shallow hydrocarbon deposits. Today, a series of surveys starting with broad geological mapping are through increasingly advanced methods such as a passive seismic reflector and seismic magnetic and gravity survey gives a data to sophisticated analysis tools that identify potential hydrocarbon bearing rocks as a prospects. If you can see here, the, an uh, upshores well typically cost 30 million with most of falling into 10 to 100 million dollar range. Rig leases are typically 200 to 700 thousands dollars a per day. So these are a few factors which include the exploration. In my next plan, we will give a complete a trail on surface subsurface facilities and their analysis. Number one, onshore wells and onshore production facilities, offshore fixed platforms. Number three, offshore fixed self-contained platforms. Number four, offshore self-contained concrete gravity platforms. Number fifth, offshore floating single point platforms. Number six, storage shuttle tanker. And number seven, offshore floating tension like platforms. Or we have demonstrated how the activities looks like, uh, the facilities. Number first is uh, the onshore well production facilities. Number two, offshore fixed multi-platforms. And number three, offshore fixed self-contained. Number four, offshore self-contained concrete gravity platforms. Number fifth, offshore floating single point platforms. And number six, storage shuttle tanker. And number seven, offshore floating tension legs platforms. Uh, in near future, we will going to discuss each platform's activities and what are the facilities they demonstrate. Okay. Okay, upstream facilities. Typically refers to all facilities for productions and stabilization of oil and gas. So it constituted with wellhead productions and processing units. First production wellhead manifolds, production and testing manifolds, production separation, first, second, third, and fourth stages, gas gathering and compressions, gas dehydration, sweetening, TG units, number seven, product, produced water treatment units, meeting storage, chemical injection management system, lost export pipelines. So we will demonstrate an intelligent model, which will demonstrate how 
these facilities are functioning in order to deliver the required results. Okay, these are the midstream facilities broadly defined as a gas treatment, LNG, NGL productions and regasification plants and oil and gas power plant systems. So it constitutes gas treatment, LNG, NGL units, transportations. So the first year is high pressure production manifolds, cryogenic process, HP, LP expanded key, gas dehydrations, cold boxes, deethanizer, demethanizers, propane chillers, conventional systems, and MEG units, monoethylene glycol, molecule CB units, chemical injection management system, first year is the export pipeline. So we will also demonstrate an intelligent model which will demonstrate how these activities or these facilities are functioning and talking to each other. Okay, now we're going to discuss downstream facilities or refining. Uh, what is basically where oil and condensate are processed into marketable products with defined specification such as gasoline, diesel or feedstock for the petrochemical industry. Refinery offsite such as tank storage and distribution terminals are included in these segments or may be part of separate uh, distribution operation systems. So FFC units, distillations, recovery and treatment units. We will discuss certainly flow dice catastrophe tracking, distillation systems, light hydrocarbon sweetening units, heavy hydrocarbon sweetening units, hydrogenations, hydrofinchers, hydrotreaters, polymerizations, and chemical injection management or export lines, catastrophe management system as well. So very soon we will give a complete detail or deliver a huge number of lectures on these facilities. Now we are going to discuss uh, petrochemical. These products are chemical products where the main feedstock is hydrocarbons. Examples are plastic, fertilizer and wine range of industrial chemicals. So it constitutes with plastics, fertilizers and industrial chemicals. We will discuss a primary reformers, secondary reformers, LP, HP, shift converters, CO2 absorbers, steepers, synthesis compressors, reactors, recovery units, storage, chemical injection management systems and catastrophe management systems. So we will discuss a complete tale on petrochemicals at different assignments. In, in conclusion, today we have discussed uh, exploration and productions, upstream facilities, mid-streams, industries. So my next topic will be onshore, offshore facilities. We will talk about shallow water complex, gravity based, Comprite towers, floating production facilities, tension like reforms, semi submerged reforms, spares, and subsea production facilities. So, references World Energy Order 2013, US Geological Survey, US Department, Schellenberg Oil Fields, International Energy Agency, Wikipedia, Oklahoma State, Margin Well Commissioning, Pompous Manual, State Hall, NORSIC. So if all in Pennsylvania air, liquid gas, encyclopedia, natural gas from the wellhead to burn active. Together, everyone achieve more. Please don't hesitate. Send me your feedback and comments at t.masood.dr at both.edu. Please stay at home, stay safe, inspired and blessed. Thank you very much for your precious time.